Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up a bucket server with no coding and all that stuff. It's fairly easy and it's for 1.8.2 or 1.1. So this is the latest uh, recommended build. It has just been recommended by Bucket, Bucket Devs. So the links will be in the description as always. So first we will go over and download the server software. But before that, please uh, create a new folder on your desktop, like bucket server or something. Just gonna leave that open. You will have this. Then you will go to this um, this dot uh, jar crap bucket 0 0.0.1 snapshot dot jar. Click that. Now we will we will take this from our download folder to our bucket server folder so we're gonna leave it up there now we're gonna run it just so bucket can create its recommended files as you can see now we're just gonna go to lock me in Hamachi download that so it is automatic automatic port forward for your users let's click free download File will be free download. Program is now is uh, downloading. You will install it and all that stuff. But as I got it already installed here, it will be maybe be offline right now. So you just click this button here, power on. Then, if you're running the server, you will go up to network, create a new network, and then just gonna create like Minecraft server. Hi and then the password but you can disable the password after so um, let's go to set access you will you will disable network password if you don't want a password so just click that okay so everyone can join now but uh, to join you just need to go up to network join existing network and it must be if if the name is capital it must be capital it must be Whole, the whole name must be correct with capitals and all that stuff. Hi, join. We can't because you own this network. So, if you are hosting server, you will go to create a new ne network. If if you want to join a network and join a server, join an existing network. But this is only for Amachi. There is also some port boring in your routers, which is a link to it. But we will get uh, crafty server GUI right now. Let's do that. This should uh, work for the latest and all that stuff. So we're gonna open the Vinamore file. We have two files in here. Just extract them to your bucket server. Why does the why does I need to do this? Because if you want craft bucket, we don't have a GUI as you can see here, but it is fairly running. We'll see Javav here, as you can see, this is the server. It's running. But after we got all these files, you will go to craft bucket 0, 0, 0, 0, snapshot all that stuff. You will delete all the these to just craft bucket. So it just stands craft bucket. That's it. You will go into server properties and re edit all that stuff. Allow nether falls and all that stuff, you know the good things. But the server IP must be changed here to your Hamachi IP if you are running the server. So let's do that. My IP is 5.52.31.1. So it's the first these these first ones. Save. Now we got our IP. Do not do not touch the server port. So now we're gonna try and run the crafty in your the this bad file. If that works, as it as you see, it works good and everything. And that is good. If it doesn't work, if the bad file doesn't work for you, try and run the crafty jar it will work so we don't have the server permission files uh, permission dot yml is empty ignoring so, so that's not a problem so we will now test our server out 
Alright, I do, I do got a fair bit of Windows here, and I forgot to run our server. So, we are running our server now. We're going to Minecraft. Let's go in. And then we're gonna test it out. Multiplayer. And then you're gonna add your server here, and type in the, the IP from your Hamachi server, or the other users. Alright. A Minecraft server. Here we get it, a new fresh world, and we are on survival. Now there is some bit of things in um, the new this new um, this new uh, server and all that stuff. It has some more controls or some more uh, c commands. As you can see, game mode player. So we're gonna change our game mode from survival or from zero to what it's called creative one so now we have creative we can change change other players game modes so let's say I can run creative while the other player can run survival so this is it's not change in game game world mode but just the players mode so that's good alright we're gonna leave it all open when you exit your server just click stop and exit now we're gonna get some special now we're gonna get some plugins. Let's go to uh, the home of bucket.org. Then you will click here, get plugins. Tile. Uh, let's let's say um, what what can we say? Magic carpet or something. Just something. But bear in mind that these plugins may be outdated with the with the newest version of Bucket. So it may not work or something. But we'll test that out. If it doesn't work, that's because of the bucket version. They need to change that. Oh, sorry. Um, you don't need to take the magic carpet Java file. This is the plugin. You need to take it in the plugins folder without having your your server running. So we run our server. Go into plugins. See if it works. If a if sometimes a folder spawns, generates here. So when it spawns or generates, it works. And you can also see it here. Magic carpet, anyone can use the magic carpet. So now we'll go into our uh, server and test it out. Of course, we can fly and all that stuff. Why do we need magic carpet? I'm just going to test it out for you. MC. As you can see, it works. To delete a plugin, you just delete all this stuff all in here without having your server to run. Please remember to stop and exit. It's it just feels a little bit safer to close your server like that. Alright, thank you all for watching this uh, video. This was Thunderzone bringing you it. And follow me on Tumblr. And please subscribe, like, and comment. And if you want to run your server without Hamachi, because it can use a little bit, a bit of uh, megabytes and all that stuff of internet, and it, uh, it can lag a little bit, then you can, you can use this guide to port forward. Um to port forward your uh, router. I forgot to set up the IP. I'm gonna do it in the description but normally it's just type in port forward here and this is the website. I can't do it because I can't remember my router's password and all that stuff. And I don't want to configure it because how much is just much more easy and I bought a server. Of course you can just use this guide if you want to run it yourself and Having not to ha having not to run how much all the time and your friends. It feels a little bit annoying because your friends need to have how much. That's the problem. All right. See you everyone and thanks for watching this video and have fun. Goodbye.